Honestly, I used to sweat my leg off all the time. I would take a few steps in the south outside, 100 degree weather, and sweat so much in a socket that my leg would start to twist around or it would completely fall off mid-step. So walking, I wasn't always confident that my leg would be there for the next step. Now, it doesn't matter where I'm walking. <laughs> Osseo integration is totally worth the time investment to be able to now walk freely for the rest of my life. I was in a wreck and broke every bone in my right leg in several places and went through three years of limb salvage surgeries before ultimately deciding to amputate above the knee. I did very well with a socket for nearly two years until I started to develop issues with heterotopic ossification, which is a fancy word for bone spurs. They were forming at the end of my femur, so every time I would put weight on my leg, it was like a knife cutting into muscle. So I went in for a revision to have that cleaned up, and it happened again within three months. So I had to have another revision. The same thing happened. I had this done five times, and each time my limb just got shorter and shorter and shorter to the point that it was really difficult to comfortably and successfully fit a traditional socket. That's when I started looking into the option of a bone anchored prosthesis. Uh, it was not yet FDA approved, so my trauma surgeon at the time said, just hold on, you've been living on crutches for a while now, if you can hold on a little bit longer, I think you'll be a good candidate for it. I waited until the FDA approval was good so that my insurance would cooperate, and then I had it done, started the process in October 2021, and now I'm here. This surgery was very similar to a revision surgery. Just opening things up, placing the anchor in the bone, closing it back up, and then you go home and heal. During that time, you have to be careful. You don't want to have any falls, mess up anything before the second surgery. The second surgery was scheduled. They do a procedure called regenerative peripheral nerve interface. At the same time as attaching the abutment which is the metal piece that sticks out of the end of the limb. Around four or five weeks after the second surgery, I was able to be fit with my short limb, and that's what you use to start your physical therapy, really, with weight bearing, and that's really exciting because you can actually see that you're starting to make progress. I went to visit a friend in Virginia a couple of months ago, and. She said, how comfortable are you with things now? Like, if we go to a farm to pick some fruit, are, are you gonna be okay out there? I said, yeah, let's go. It's uneven terrain, hot outside, we're all sweating. I didn't have a single problem. Didn't even have to think about it. Hot yoga was something I would never do with a socket because I knew my leg just wasn't going to stay on. Now I can go do a full session and my leg stays on. Infection is, I think the number one worry that I hear from people, I just keep my aperture sight clean. I clean it twice a day. I tell people all the time it's more similar to a piercing. You want to keep a piercing clean to keep it from getting infected. So kind of the same idea with this implant. I've been fortunate so far. I'm a little over two and a half years into this and I have not had any infection. I'm sure I've pushed my limits with swimming and being in public places and sweating like crazy, but again, I stick to my cleaning routine and everything's been fine for me. I think you have to look at what you're able to do versus what you want to do. If there are things in your life that you cannot do because a socket prosthesis is holding you back, it's certainly worth at least getting a consultation. It is a time investment. You have to know that it's a two surgery process. The rehab protocol can take a few months, but if I can really dedicate a year to surgeries, physical therapy, getting back to my best self, then you have the rest of your life to live free. It's 100% worth the investment.